All right, so let's knock out let's knock out C4's homework. So number one, I can do anything I want as long as I do it to both sides, right? So let's square both sides. The left hand side is gonna go away. The square root that is four. Subtract ten from both sides. Three x is equal to fifty four. That's divisible by three. So x is equal to eighteen. All right, three goes into five once, then three goes into twenty-four eight times. So x is equal to eighteen. Check your solution. So three times eighteen. Plus 10. 64. Square root of 64 is 8. So yeah, that's good. All right, number 2. I want to multiply everything by 3. Why? Because I want to clear the fraction. This is going to be 3. Right? You have to distribute. 2x. Minus 2, right, because the 3 and the denominator is going to cancel. 0 times 3 is 0. I'm going to add 2. So 3 for root 2x is equal to 2. Divide both sides by 3. Root 2x is equal to 2 thirds. I'm going to square both sides. Root is going to go away. So 2x is equal to 4 over 9. Divide both sides by 2, which is basically multiplying both sides by a half. So x is equal to 4 over 18, or 2 over 9. x is equal to 2 over 9. If we check our answer, Square root of 4 over 9, that's 2 thirds, minus 2 thirds is 0, so we're good. Okay, number 3, I'm going to add 7 to both sides, 8, root 10x is equal to 16, divide both sides by 8, root 10x is equal to 2, Square both sides. 10x is equal to 4. Divide both sides by 10. x is equal to 2 fifths. You check it. 5 and the 10 are going to cancel. So it's going to be 2 times 2, which is basically square root of 4, which is 2. 2 times 8 is 16. 16 minus 7 is 9. You can check it. So, number four. I'm going to add six to both sides. Negative four root x is equal to negative 14. Divide both sides by negative four. Root x is equal to the negatives cancel. Seven over two. Square both sides. X is equal 49 over four. I'll let you check it actually. So that'll be on you. All right, so here it gets interesting. Square both sides. So this is going to be x times x, x squared. Negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36. Then 2 times x times negative 6, negative 12x. Right, if, if you don't know what's happening here, I am using the fact that I am wearing a binomial. Right, this is the fact that I'm using. So a squared 
plus 2 times a times b plus b squared. So I'll let, I'll let you figure that out, but that's what, that's what I'm doing. Right-hand side, square root goes away, so we just got 3x. I'm subtracting 3x from both sides. So x squared is equal x squared minus 15x plus 36 is equal to 0. Two numbers that make 36 that add up to 15. What, 18 and 2? 9 and 4? So 9 and 4 doesn't work. 9 times 4. 10, 11, 12, and 3. That works. So x, 12, and 3. They're both negative. So x is equal to 12. x is equal to 3. I can already tell you that this one's trash. Right, one's true and one's trash. So x is equal to three, why is it trash? Because three minus six is negative three. A square root cannot equal a negative number. Number six, square both sides, x squared is equal to 16x plus 225. Subtract x. Zero is equal to fifteen x plus two twenty five. I'm going to subtract two twenty five. Fifteen something negative two twenty five. Okay. Divide both sides by fifteen. X is equal negative 15 right because 15 squared is 225 already um i don't think this is true i don't think this is true. only because if x is negative 15 again a square root cannot oh you know what i'm tripping it's late x squared try that again we'll leave the mistake in all right so this is going to be x squared minus 16x minus 225 equal to zero um Two numbers that make 225 that add up to 16, something close to each other. What are we thinking? Well, 15 and 15 doesn't make 16, though. One has to be negative. Twenty-five and nine. Took longer than expected. So twenty-five nine. The big one's negative. Small one's positive. So x is equal to twenty-five. X is equal to negative nine. The negative one can't be right. Square roots can't produce a negative number.
Number seven. Let's square both sides. Forty four minus two x is equal to again x times x, x squared, negative ten times negative ten, positive one hundred, two times x times negative ten, negative twenty x. Hopefully you get at that. That's a very, very useful trick. I'm gonna add two x. I'm gonna subtract forty four. So x squared is equal to, or zero is equal to x squared minus 18x plus Hmm. Oh, well, it's not one fifty six, it's just fifty six. That makes more sense. Four and fourteen. Both are negative. X is equal to four. X is equal to fourteen. You see which one is uh not gonna work? Four. All right, four minus ten is a negative number. Can't work. Can't work. Okay, this is uh gonna be tricky. This one's tricky. This one is tricky. All right, let's square both sides. First off, there's something interesting right here. So check this out. These x's are gonna cancel. Well, it, I mean, is it worth mentioning? I, I feel like it is. X can't be zero. One, because X is in the denominator. Denominators can never be zero. Knowing that if X was zero, zero times anything is zero, and this would be negative two and be a complex number. Furthermore, X minus two would be a negative number, and we can't have negative numbers coming out. So X can't be zero. I square both sides. We're going to get, try it with me. X times X. Negative 2 and negative 2. 2 times A times B. All right, so this is going to be negative 4X. This is going to be. Well, I don't like this because when you square it, you're going to get negative 2. 
and negative 2 can't be in the, right, can't take a square root of a negative number. I wonder if i is going to show up. I have a feeling i is going to show up. So this is going to be 6. Yep, I can already tell you. This, right, this is a quadratic that's shifted up. I will definitely be in the answer. That's, that's, okay, so quadratic formula basically is what's going to happen. So negative b plus or minus, or I'll just say it out. Negative b, which is going to be negative, negative 4, plus or minus square root, negative 4, squared, right, b squared, minus 4ac. You can already tell that the 4ac is going to be negative, and that's bigger than the 4 squared, which is 16. So definitely going to be i. And 2a is just 1. So 4 plus or minus, so 16 minus 24, what is that, 8? Negative 8, 16 minus 24, all over 2. 8 we know. 2 times 2 times 2, so 2 root 2, what's going on? All right, 2 root 2, so 2 plus or minus 2 root 2 i over 2. Okay, there's a 2 in every term, so 1 plus or minus root 2 i. All right, number nine, for both sides. Four x plus one, x plus 10. I feel like there's more that needs to happen, but let's just go with it. Minus one, three x is equal to nine. x is equal to 3. I feel like I'm missing something. That felt too easy. Typically, these get harder as the homework goes on. Hmm. It is late. Let's just go with it. If it's wrong, we can talk about it later. All right. Square both sides going to be 6x plus 7. Left hand side is going to be that times that. 2 times 2. 2 times a times b. 4 root 2x plus 3. Let's combine all the like terms on the right hand side going to be 3 and 4 is 7. I'm going to subtract 7. So that, because of that. Hey, look what happened. I'm going to subtract 2x. 4, square root, 2x plus 3, is equal to 4x. Divide both sides by 4. Square root of 2x plus 3 is equal to x. For both sides. 2x plus 3 is equal to x. Minus x, minus x, minus 3, minus 3. x is equal to negative 3. I don't think that's correct. I don't think that's going to work because. Negative 3 will make negative 18. Negative 18 plus 7 is a negative number. Can't have a negative number. I don't think the solution works. Is there an x squared that showed up? Oh, there was an x squared. Ah, I did it again, bro. The x squared. So I'm going fast. 
All right, there is a solution. Oh. Smart enough to catch it. Smart enough to catch it. Negative 2x, negative 3, equals 0. All right, this is better. 3 and 1. Three is negative, one's positive. So x is equal to positive three. X is equal to negative one. Negative one. <clears throat> I'll let you figure out which ones work. That one's not obvious. Okay. Square the left hand side, square the right hand side. 2x plus 5. Maybe you can't hear me because I'm on that side. This is going to be x plus 2 plus 1. 2 times this times this. So 2 root x2. I'm going to. Move everything to the left. So this is going to be 2 plus 1 is 3. So I'm subtracting 3 from the right. 2x plus 2. Right. That goes away. I'm subtracting x. So x plus 2 is equal to 2 root x plus 2. Divide both sides by 2. Do I want to do that? I don't want to do that. That's going to create a fraction situation. I don't want a fraction. Yeah, I'll clear it later. So this will be x over 2 plus 1 equal to root x plus 2. Square both sides. So this is going to be x squared over 4 plus 1, right? Because this times this, this times this, 2 times this times this. This is going to be that's nice. 2 times that is just going to be x times 1, which is just x. is equal to x plus 2. x plus 2. All right. Let's minus x minus 2. Minus x minus 2. So we're going to get x squared over 4. x minus x. That just goes away. Minus 1 is equal to zero. Let's clear the fraction now. Multiply everything by four. So x squared minus four is equal to zero. Oh, this is nice, the difference of squares. Oh, yes. Okay, check it out. This is gonna be x plus two, x minus two. The difference of squares, right? Four is really two squared. I'll take it. So this is means x is equal to 2, x is equal to negative 2. I know it's opposite, but you get the picture. All right. And then we'll test one of those and see. Or you'll test one of those and see. I feel like they're both going to work. Well, they're both going to be positive, but they'll probably equate to different numbers. The last one. You know what? Let's do it. Let's just see. So 2 times 2 is 4, plus 5 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. 2 plus 2 is 4. So it's going to be root 2. No, root 4, which is 2, plus 1 is 3. So x equals 2 is a solution. What about negative 2? So negative 4 plus 5 is 1. 
So that's going to be a one. Your A look, I feel like they both work. Zero plus one is one. And then zero to one is one. It, they both work. Look at that. Unless I'm tripping and they don't work. So. All right, last one. 